Hello everyone, hi, I'm Sai Jitin. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Tech. In today's video, we are talking about the Poco F3 GT. Yes, friends, before talking about Poco F3 GT, let's uh, thank you for all your support uh, for reaching the 75,000 subscribers right now, as you can see, friends. And uh, the good news is that I'll be able to uh, buy the Poco F3 GT after this, seeing this kind of demand in my uh, subscribers. So I did create a community post, uh, I think two days ago, as you can see. I did receive the 2.4K odds, and out, out of that odds, and 72% of the people, they actually want me to buy the Poco F3 GT. That's really good. Uh, to see this kind of huge demand in the POCO F3 uh, GT device and different, absolutely friends I'll be buying the POCO F3 GT and one small request for the users so in case if you want to buy the POCO F3 GT don't buy in the first sale so that is one small request which I'm trying to do because so if you buy in the first sale and if you get to know the, all the problems again the retaining the phone and all the replacement again that's kind of big issue gonna happen so try to wait for my reviews I'll definitely post as much as videos as possible you know about me definitely friends so try to buy at least in the second sale that is what my advice I would give you so at least wait for next uh, couple of days maybe two or three days just give me some time actually minimum three days so minimum two or three days should be fine for me to uh, get an understand about the POCO F3 GT so that is what my quick advice I would uh, say for the users who are actually thinking of buying my main focus would be comparing with the realme x1 max so realme x1 max has got the dimensity 1200 so this is where my main focus will be there first comparing with this phone and second comparing obviously with the iq7 device these two phones i'll be able to compare and not only iq7 sorry i forgot about the mi 11x as well even with the mi 11x also i'll be able to compare all this display mainly so 10 bit display of the poco f3 gt display gonna have been. so thank you for all your support friends in making me to reach the 75k and definitely we'll soon we'll be able to reach that one lakh milestone as soon as possible so I'll try to create another post regarding the OnePlus Nord 2 as well. So whether I should buy the OnePlus Nord 2 or not, definitely I'll try to ask you guys and I'll decide whether to buy the OnePlus Nord 2 or not. And thank you for watching this video, fans. And just this video is just a confirmation saying that I'm gonna buy the Poco F3 GT and I'm really excited for the Poco F3 GT. Absolutely, friends. 100%. I'm very, very excited for this phone to buy and test in my own type of testing. That is what I mean. And thank you for watching and see the next video, fans. I'll then straight in for more updates. Bye.